show after hours and hours of trying and grinding and dying and trying again you finished Neo and what do you know right after the final boss a bunch of green stuff dropped to the ground and you were like oh my god now I have to take under consideration a whole other tier of gear quality and I pretty much have to scrap everything I have until, up until now unless I want to soul match it for soul matching and information on reforging and forging etc etc you can check my other guide that you can find in the description below and in the annotation that you're gonna see on your screens in a bit as far as divine items go now the green items that drop for you and will keep dropping from now on after you finish your initial playthrough i'm here to explain to you how soul matching them works how you can get divine fragments that you need in order to forge your own items of divine quality etc etc so stick for the duration and we'll get right to it first and foremost you want to go to the blacksmith now what you want to do what you want to have by the end of your reconfiguration of the character is to have a set that you like a matching set of all the pieces required to get the bonuses because after a bit the game demands of you higher attack values higher endurance to damage and harmful effects etc etc so having a set matched with the guardian spirit that goes with it is in my opinion a good way to get an edge on the opposition that's going to get tougher and tougher so Starting here, you can see that I opted for the red demon armor. Two reasons for that. I like light armor. I like my armor to be as light as possible. Right now, as you can see, I'm 24.3%, a little bit below the A grade mobility. And I want to keep it there. Uh, I like the looks as well. But uh, the red demon armor does not require a specific ranged weapon, does not require a specific second weapon here like the Iga set so it gives me more choices when it comes to how I want to customize William apart from the armor pieces and the basic weapon apart from that the info and the suggestion I gave you still stands pick a set and try to optimize so we have a set here that requires six pieces to work as you can see my red demon armor Kabuto is a plus two item now First and foremost, if you played any kind of pen and paper RPG like D&D or anything like that, you will know that when you see a, a plus something beside a piece of equipment, it means that it gets improved when it comes to its effectiveness and the plus one item will always be better than a vanilla item and a plus two will be always better than a plus one item. So what you're going to do is get the gear you want to use and start optimizing the perks and the plus modifiers for it so how do you do that first and foremost if you want to forge a specific set you might have handed a lot of smithing text from your initial playthrough here so for example I want to forge a divine piece of armor I go here and see the greater good uh, the Kabuto which is the helmet and it is from the Tranquil Foundation set. So if I want to complete the, the Tranquil Foundation set, I will have to have all the gear required in order to do so. An easy way to do that, as I explained in my previous video, is to go to your items, go to your weapons, go to the weapon equipped at the moment that is part of a set, like the Akaoni no Sankaku Spear, and press R2, and again, and again until the set bonuses come on screen now you see the Akaoni with the five armor pieces give me the six piece combination that I need in order to have an optimized character with every specific item that I add to the accumulation I get more bonuses so this is how you can check what you need if you want to get the tranquil foundations you will have to equip an, at least a weapon 
or piece of gear out of the set, go to your menu in the items part, not the equipment but the items part and check what is required. For the trunk of foundations you need just the armor pieces and the katana. So you will go to the forge and you will see that the Sohaya Tsurugi, I have here the crafting recipe, can be crafted with Demon's Horn, Elacra and Tamahagane. So I click on it and when I go to forge there is not another menu that comes up but you can press triangle and invest up to 10 divine fragments in order to have a chance of getting a divine item. There is no way to get a common, the common gets out of the rarity level of forging item department up there. 0% chance to get an uncommon as well, 4% chance to get a rare, 10% chance to get an exotic and 86 if you invest 10 fragments to get a divine item. So this way you can get a divine item of your choice crafted in the forge. Now the quality of it, the plus whatever it's gonna be when you get it, is tied to the dialogue menu, Muramasa's part, you go to the requests and there is an upper level limit for forced item and a lower level limit for forced items. And this will dictate more or less what amount of plus signs you're gonna get beside your weapon. Good idea is get those 20 points out there so you can have a 40% discount on your soul matching and then get those two going in order to have better items out of the forge so let's say i have all the pieces and i wear them and i have a full divine set here second thing you want to check is the perks that come with your armor pieces for example the certain recovery time out of key that i have on my red demon armor kabuto is it by default on this helmet it dropped with it it cannot be changed unless i reforge it but the elemental damage reduction when guarding that you see there 28.3 percent that one is inherited from another piece of armor so the second thing we want to talk about is inherited perks just like with simpler up to the exotic tier items you can so match a weapon or piece of armor and by so matching it if your material piece the one that's gonna get destroyed in the process that is has full familiarity on it it's gonna pass the inherited perk it's this one with the two uh, vertical lines to the item that you're gonna get in the end so i get these two blades let's say in here and i have a material with full familiarity let's take this the nami oyogi and you can see that it will inherit the change to attack skill the nami oyogi will be destroyed and it will inherit the change to attack be warned you're gonna lose your initial inherent perk and this will not improve the weapon in any way different than getting the perk you want. Don't uh, look at the attack value on the right, that's because I get the change to attack skill A- minus and it calculates my stats and adds it to the weapon from the get-go. Now, what will actually improve your attack is using a material like this Hikoemon Ichimonji that is a plus one as well and if you use a piece of equipment, a weapon that has the same plus value as the one you are using upwards from plus one you will increase its level so to get from vanilla to plus one you have to fuse the vanilla with a plus one that's the initial part and it cannot be skipped then to get to plus two you have to fuse your vanilla with the same plus sign 
a plus one or upwards from that but you will only increase it by one so do not waste a plus five item to increase a plus one item to a plus two item to increase a plus one item to a plus two item use a plus one then you will have to use a plus two and this is a serial procedure it's a procedural increase up to the amount you want to upgrade your weapon you can go a bit backwards in the vid and listen to that again because it is kind of uh, complex let's say but the bottom line the thing you want to know is that you match your soon to be destroyed material weapon with a number of the same amount on your base and that will increase the plus value if the material weapon does not have full familiarity it will not take your inherent effect and move it to the base item so if you do not want your inherent perk to be overwritten by that of the material just use the material weapon as is without familiarity and you will just get the benefits of the plus one in upgrading the general stats of the weapon same rules for upgrading apply in your armor as well so for example for armor such as this let's say i want to upgrade it to a plus one i'm gonna scroll down i'm gonna get a plus one piece of gear and as you can see to the right the red demon armor kabuto will go to plus one now that the red demon armor kabuto that i have here is plus zero if I try to upgrade it by using a plus two item, I still gonna get a plus one item. So the plus one that overextends from the Yata Garasu armor, the headpiece, it's gonna go to waste. The only good way to use that as a great material is to fuse it with a plus two, number of the same amount, and get an item to plus three. So to wrap it up. If you want inherent effects to be transferred, the familiarity of the material item, as always, has to be maxed. If you just want the plus signs to be transferred over and improve your base equipment, you do not need the familiarity to be maxed. Always match a plus sign of the same amount with your material in order to get a plus one upgrade because you cannot get a plus two or plus three upgrade in one go you have to go plus one to plus two to plus three etc etc and find gear with good perks that are not inherent movable that is and then invest your transferable perks on it and to finalize and get the best possible version just go to reforge Pick the weapon you want to optimize, let's say these fantastic blades, unlock, go in, pick the perk you want to change and click reforge. I'm not going to do that because these blades are pretty much perfect as I want them, but you get the general idea. Last but not least, if you just require divine fragments to upgrade your stuff, dismantling any piece of divine gear will yield one fragment doesn't matter if it has full familiarity doesn't matter the level you're always gonna get one divine fragment i really hope this was helpful guys the divine reforging and soul matching process is even more complex than the initial one so if i can help you you need anything to be clarified just leave a message in the comment section below subscribe like and share i'm covering pretty much everything i can in neo playing the game daily and uploading stuff for you until next time be well stay frosty and always strive for perfection cheers